Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here because today is part four of working on a Viking sword. We heat treated it yesterday. It is straight as an arrow about as straight as can be possibly expected out of the quench. It is now time to grind this thing. It currently weighs 1,310 grams. I want my final dimensions on the distal taper to be four millimeters and two millimeters. The first thing that we're gonna do is finalize the profile. So we're gonna take some measurements, run in and get that done. Okie dokie, so on top of the drawing, she sits rather nicely. And this is straight. One of the biggest issues I've had in the past is at the beginning of the process of making a project, not taking enough care to make things straight and saying, I'll deal with it later. I'll make things perfectly straight and in line. I'll get the perfect profile later. But the trouble with doing that is you never get around to doing it later. And when you grind your edge, you're then grinding your edge to a profile that isn't where it's gonna be. It makes for all sorts of troubles and pain down the line. So I'm pleased. This profile is how it should be. The tang is straight. We have a beautiful scribe line and it is neat to it. It is still rather thick. 5.3 millimeters thick at the base of the blade. A couple inches away from the tip, 3.75. That means we've got a millimeter to take off either side, making sure to grind things straight and get a beautiful distal taper. And so it's back to our favorite place on this warm July day, the grinding room. Just interrupting here, what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna plot out the actual measurements of the thickness at different points for the distal taper we need. is in the grinding room working on the sword he has entrusted me with making another Damascus billet for another part of this project it's scary it's exciting let's do this
now weighs 866 grams. This is how it started this morning. This is how it looked yesterday. I've made two whole kilos of doys. That's almost four and a half pounds of doys. This thing is straight as a whistle. And the best thing is, this is exciting. I'm loving this. Holy moly. I said I wanted it four millimeters, three and a half millimeters, three millimeters, two and a half millimeters, and two millimeters as the thickness measurements. 4.17 millimeters, 3.55 millimeters, 3.00 millimeters, 2.60 millimeters, 2.13 millimeters. Pretty satisfying. <laughs> it's straight and it meets all the distal taper dimensions. Yes! The next step is the fuller. Here's the type 3 that we're aiming at. We ended up making a little bit of a hybrid of a type 3 and a type 4. This had a slight warp in it and so getting it to be straight meant that we lost about a millimeter and a half or so on the width of this measurement, which made it taper more. So fortunately, the fuller on both of these are largely the same. And so we're gonna work with the measurement that we took a little while ago, which was that the fuller would stop 110 millimeters from the tip. The fuller itself appears to pretty much divide the blade up into three the whole way along. It's a little wider than a third here. And so what we're gonna do is we are going to blue die commit and try our best to scribe in some lines that we can work to on the grinder as we grind in our radius. But first, have a look at that. That is one flexi blade. <laughs> oh yes, that's fun. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the fuller lines scribed out, which means that we are ready to grind them. But I'm a little fearful that at this point in the day, I do not have the clarity of mind to do it justice. So that's gonna be another day. It's time, sadly, for us to say goodbye to Alex, though. Today is the last day that I'm gonna be working with Alex. Alex has been here for a month doing an internship. About a month and a half or so ago, opened up spots to get people to apply, to have somebody come and help and work and hopefully learn some things and help out in the workshop. And it feels ridiculous that a month has gone by. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, it feels like it was like last week yeah. that you showed up and we started working together. Absolutely. He, his first day here, he came and hung out when we were forging that gold knife. So. How is that a month ago? I have no idea. It is. And all I have to say is Alex has just done phenomenal work. He's been great help. I'm like, hey, can you hand sand this falchion? He hand sands the falchion perfectly. There was not an errant scratch in there. And that is really amazing. Thank so you. I got lucky in picking a really, really, really fantastic intern. And uh, Thank you so much for coming and helping out and everybody's loved you, so thank you. Yeah, thank you, man. I'd like to thank all of you for making me feel so welcome on this channel and giving me the confidence to be in front of the camera and giving me an extra level of joy in doing what needs to be done. And I hope you'll stick with me because I look very much forward to creating new projects together with you guys when I'm back in my shop. And thank you, Alex, my for pleasure. teaching me stuff and letting me be in your workshop and choosing me. It's been a great time and I wouldn't want to have missed it. It's been a pleasure. It's been a real pleasure, real pleasure. Really exciting. 